uh, I have a. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Xin Chao Yu. I'm the director of United Stack. I'm also the core reviewer in the Puppet OpenStack community. I participated into OpenStack in, in 2011 uh, with the Diablo release. In this topic, we will talk about uh, the way to enterprise OpenStack deployment as a service. And uh, six years ago, OpenStack started in Austin, and uh, this year we come back, uh, and we have more than 10, 10 tools and projects to deploy OpenStack. Uh, but uh, the deployment is still a hot topic. Why? Think about it. Because the OpenStack deployment is still hard for user to master. They have to learn a lot of things, and they can deploy the OpenStack. And there's no perfect product to fit all users' needs. So where is the way to? Let's begin it. Uh, in this topic, we will not to talk about the details of each deployment tools and uh, projects. And we will talk about you about the funny stories or gossips behind the deployment uh, uh, projects. And uh, we will not give you a prediction of OpenStack DS deployment uh, trend. Because we are not good at this. Gotten good at this. But uh, if they have any interest in this. So what we will talk about is we will give you a brief introduce of mainline OpenStack deployment tools, and we will give you the biggest challenge in current situation. And then we will discuss about delivering a, a enterprise OpenStack deployment service. And last, we will introduce our US installer, which codename is CTASK. So first, let's begin with the OpenStack deployment of his Sorry. As, uh, as we know, there are so many tools that can deploy OpenStack. Where are they from? Uh, uh, there are some very popular tools, uh, such as uh, uh, config, config management uh, tools, uh, which, start to, uh, which start to support OpenStack deployment, such as Puppet, Chef, and uh, Ansible. This project is really, really good to deploy OpenStack in production and provide a, a flexible way for users who is complex OpenStack architecture, but they are not friendly to users. And uh, they are complicated and hard to master. You need to learn Ansible, Chef, and Puppet. Uh, and you also need to learn Shell, Python, and Ruby. So, uh, so there, there is a, a, a project named uh, PackStack appears. Actually, it supports uh, popular OpenStack uh, models from upstream, but uh, it provides an interactive way to, for user to deploy OpenStack. And uh, even they even don't know Puppet, but it's not really friend. Uh, the for users, if they don't know OpenStack or they don't know Linux and uh, command line use, so uh, learn some deployment tools and uh, based on web console appears, such as Fuel and uh, Juju. For example, Fuel also use puppet the OpenStack models uh, from upstream, but it has a web console and uh, which which code name is Neil Gang? They hide the complexity of the deployment process, and it's more easier for users to deploy OpenStack. In OpenStack community, they, they also have a project which use OpenStack themselves to deploy OpenStack, which name is Triple O. This project use Nova, Ironic, and uh, Heat these OpenStack projects to uh, treat physical machines 
like uh, virtual machines. The idea of this project is really good, but uh, this project is very hard to configure. And as we know, container is a very hot topic by now. The community has some projects which use multi-container technology to deploy OpenStack. They are very fast to deploy and can have a good resource isolation by nature. This picture is from the latest survey, which is taken in this, this month. And we, we can see from this picture, the result shows Puppet and uh, Ansible take uh, the first and uh, second place, and they are very close by now. And uh, Phil take uh, the third place, and we can see uh, Chef and Packstack and uh, other deployment tools on this picture. Uh, I just introduced this uh, project, which are widely used uh, in, in currently. And uh, after a glance of all these deployment tools, let's take a minute to rethink it. What do we want? Or what do our users want? Why do we have so many deployment tools or projects? Are they good enough to fit all users' needs? What's the next step for we, for we to take on or sh we should focus on? I will leave the discussion to my colleague, Wei Wang. Hello, everyone. I will talk about what, well, what you really care about. Uh, according to Xin Chao's presentation, we know that there are so many deployment tools in the market. It seems very expensive. But why? We think that there are no toys that can match your own needs. There are always some pain points. So everyone wants to make a new well. First, uh, upgrade OpenStack is still a hard problem. We see topics like upgrade OpenStack without uh, bricks the world. What people think? They think that upgrade OpenStack means I will break the world. I will break my VMs. I will break my service. It seems uh, can't avoid. Is that a void? We know that upgrade sim uh, software is uh, pretty simple. Uh, users may use containers. They say, I just need to uh, uh, pull a new image. We all know so upgrade software is simple. Uh, even you can just use uh, YAM upgrade or, or something to replace the software package. It seems very easy. But the problem is that the data plan. You need, to the, you need to make sure the data plan uh, will not be break, and the API downtime should be minimum. <laughs> we want the service always keep online and always can service uh, our customers, not always say, oh, our service is uh, uh, under in the maintenance. You need to get service uh, 30 minutes uh, after or one day after. <laughs> Another thing is that install an OpenStack is very easy in a lab because you know everything about the lab. You know the hardware, you know the network, you know the architecture. But if you want to install an OpenStack in a real world, in the enterprise environment, you will see that uh, what you get is totally different. You may say uh, uh, any hardware. You may say many, many uh, network nicks <laughs> or any your uh, uh, disks, like uh, for example, um, open way switch, open way switch may not work well in some uh, NICs, like uh, uh, Broadcom some, some model of uh, NICs, uh, and uh, safe may not work well in some uh, some disks. About uh, for some SSD may get a uh, very bad performance, uh, and uh, there are many uh, just like some these problems. Uh, and the so the OpenStack uh, the OpenStack community even may give not uh, announcing about the compatibility list. And another thing is that OpenStack is very complex. It has very complex configuration and architecture. I have just uh, pick a picture from the OpenStack uh, OpenStack uh, uh, website. 
it's just like this. I don't want to talk about this uh, picture. I don't want to show that every component takes some, uh, some efforts or what it means. I just want to show you that OpenStack is very complex, but uh, no customer wants to get this complex by themselves. They want to use all the complex and the architecture. And uh, they may have uh, many, many needs. Some, some customer may want to uh, use Sahara, but we, they don't like the heat on the dashboard. They just want to use this uh, use Sahara, but no uh, heat in the, in the dashboard to uh, write the comp template or something. And uh, uh, since the hyper converge, con converged is a new trend, so you may add the storage surf service in your computer node. So you need to add some uh, SSD in your computer node, or even some H H HDD in computer node, or even mix them. That's all the challenges that architecture or our development tool, uh, develop, develop, uh, deployment uh, engineers can't handle this complexity. Last but not least, uh, workflow may not work. We all want a tool that we all need is some clicks. Just start and uh, see that the log is flash, and then we get end. The OpenStack deployment is already done. But uh, in the real world, you may not very, uh, you may not get a very automated process, since uh, you may face many many problems. Just as I, I listed, that the hardware can, the hardware compatibility, or the network is uh, has some problem. But in, when you face some problem. What you want is just, uh, I want to uh, solve these problems by myself. I can use my tricks or some experience. But when I mix the problems down, I want to continue to bank the workflow to make the deployment tools work, uh, work just uh, uh, continue my, the previous work. But for now, there are no tools can do this. So. Uh, what's our answers? Uh, we have uh, we have faced these problems for years, and uh, we uh, uh, we we have some uh, we have some plans and principles and do some work. Let me show you. Uh, first, about the upgrade, there are some topics about uh, rolling upgrade in the community, like uh, Nova and uh, Neutron. I have just seen a topic uh, named uh, Neutron Liberty Upgrade uh, yesterday, and the community has done some uh, pretty uh, wonderful work in the rolling upgrade, like uh, also Oslo version uh, project, means uh, o networking OVO, and uh, like uh, uh, L2 agent restart. We have seen some patches in about the L2 agent restart, uh, which is OVS uh, agent. Uh, community has do some work because this uh, this thing cannot handle the by uh, deployment tools only. We need both work from the community and the deployment tools. Another thing, the sanity test. Before the installation, we need to do some compatibility test and the benchmark performance test to save the need very perf high performance disk. We need to make sure that the hardware is uh, is good enough to make our software wrong. The other thing, architecture. We know that architecture is uh, complex, <laughs> that even you can't write or you can't get the architecture in uh, just a web console or in a GUI. But we have some powerful tools like YAML. We use YAML in Puppet and uh, maybe use YAML in everywhere. Uh, we can provide some editable templates. You can use the template. We have some well, uh, template uh, seniors, but the templates can edit again, and uh, the deployment is modular. You can just m deploy some uh, model that you want, or you can just mix these deployments as you want. The last uh, is about uh, inspection tools. We have development some uh, inspection tools and uh, scripts. Uh, there is a video to show that how it's uh, how it's like. We every year will have a new POC. 
但是大量的时间花在了检查和运维上。然而，不属实很多问题和流程并没有直接相关，比如 VLAN 配置错误 ，floating IP 网关没有起，用于 VXLAN 隧道通信的 endpoint IP 配置错误，由于光纤质量问题引起的跨机柜通信异常等等。我们在这些运维和实施上耗费了大量的时间，苦不堪言。这正是 Stis 开发的初衷。企业级软件应该能够自己在运行前确定环境是否正常，实现运维的自动化。此地此能够迅速抓包分析数据包路径，定位问题所在。对于生产锐景，我们可能会被虚拟网络连通性问题所困扰。此地此能够在虚拟设备上发包，模拟问题现场。对比以前其他的监控工具，此地此能够快速诊断故障原因，弥补了其他工具的不足。这。将让我以后的工作更加高效。Stis, which is the video talk about, is our open source、uh, tools for network inspection. It's,、uh, it's especially for OpenStack deployments, and we already put this on the OpenStack Big Ten. You can see and、uh, make contribution under the OpenStack umbrella. Integrate with All these works, tools, and、uh, principles. That's what we call the task. The United States presented a new deployment tools. It's not just another deployment tools. It's really another deployment tools. You can you can use it and、uh, make benefits. We have planned to open, make it open source, but it needs time. Thank you. That's all.